Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I hope you're having an awesome day. Today we're going to be installing these MMD side mirrors onto this 2006 Mustang GT. Alright, so first I'm just going to show you guys what these mirrors look like, and then I'll go ahead and show you how to install them. So here's a preview of the new side mirrors. As you can see, they're more aerodynamic, sleek appearance as opposed to these, these kind of truck looking mirrors I got on here. Of course, they come with new glass. Hey, Mr. Plane, could you not? Unfortunately, you have to reuse the old motors, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to take the, the motors out of these mirrors, install them into those, and then put the new mirrors onto here. So let's get to work. The first step, of course, is going to be to roll down these windows. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is pull these little plastic covers off of here and then that will give you access to three bolts that are holding the mirrors on. As I mentioned earlier, you're going to need to take the motors out of these, so I'm going to walk you guys through that, but the first step is obviously to take these off. So there's three little nuts that go onto these studs, and this comes through here. And as you can see on my mirrors, this little plastic portion here was broken and was going everywhere, and I had it taped onto the car because the rattling was bothering me. But it, I, this is a long overdue modification for me. Alright, so there's a little tricky part where you have to get this grommet through a little, a little bracket. As you can see here, there's a hole that this grommet fits into. So once you pop it through there, you can very carefully pull this out of here. But what you have to do is you have to disconnect the wires from the back of the motor and then pull it through the hole so that it comes off. And then the next step, of course, is to get the new mirror and then run this wire through here and mount the motor to it. Alright, so once you get the motor mounted in there, you just pop the glass right on top of it and it just seats right on there, nice and tight. Then finally, of course, you just mount this back on here. So you take this switch, run it through, link it up, and then put all the bolts back on. And don't forget this foam piece. The last thing you're going to have to do before you put the mirror back on is take the studs out of the old bracket and mount them onto the new mirror. I don't have the, the tool to get this off of here, so I'm just going to use pliers and be really careful not to touch the threads. Then of course with the driver's side, the last thing you're going to want to do is take your motor control piece and uh, plug this little clip back in and then you should be good to go.
And as you guys can see, these mirrors have a really sleek appearance. Man, that looks really awesome. All right, so now the next thing to do is just repeat the process on the other side and then take pictures or drive around. Be much more aerodynamic. So once again, as I'm sitting here editing this video, I realized that I've forgotten to make another outro while I was recording. Like, why can't these things be apparent to me? Alright, so with that, I'm just going to wrap up this video here, you guys. Be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about these new side mirrors. I think that for the price, they're really nice, and honestly, after driving it for these past few weeks, I haven't really noticed a lack of visibility. The mirror itself is smaller, but it really doesn't change anything. If you haven't already, be sure to leave a thumbs up, click subscribe down below, and add me on Instagram, Snapchat, all that good stuff. At Caden Odom. Peace out. Have a good night, guys. Thanks for watching.